Hey guys, we are at Chuck's house looking at doing a system replacement up here in an attic. Um, it's a nice tall work area. You got more than six foot to stand up in. There's already a platform in front of the system here as you can see. We'll bring a couple pieces of plywood, uh, just two foot by four foot, so we can make sure there's a nice path here coming to the, um, to the scuttle hole. New furnace is going to lay on its side in the same location. It's a horizontal left position. Uh, gas lines ran and track pipe goes into the unit. Um, the only thing that we're going to have to change is make sure that there's a, unit, a union outside of the unit. I guess there's one on the track pipe, but we may need more than that. Electric switch is right there. We'll be able to reuse the existing electric switch for the air conditioner um, and furnace. There's an outlet up here for any type of service. There's already a code installed light. So we're good with that. Um, B vent runs in four inch out of the top of the system, straight up through the chimney. I got a picture of the style of B vent. So um, if we need to buy any fittings, we can. Refrigerant lines are properly sized. We'll flush and pressure test them. Drain lines run in PVC. I don't quite know where they go. It looks like they run into a drain right here, um, which is vented out on the other side. There is a safety pan underneath the system. We'll just go ahead and put a new safety pan underneath the new system with a new emergency wet switch installed in the proper location. Return is 14 inch flex. It runs to a filter grill that's just below me here. We'll just um, more than likely build a little box in the bottom of the furnace and put our 14 inch flex back into it. And then all of the supply ductwork is ran in ductboard, so it's all insulated. We should be able to reuse the ductwork. That will be everything up here in the attic. I'll get some measurements on the scuttle hole. And let me jump back this direction so you can see the access point there. That's it here. Here's our unit. The service is the first floor. So for this system, we'll pull the furnace out and set our new furnace in the same location. New coil on top of that and rebuild the plenum up into the existing supply ductwork. Return drop's going to get replaced and resized. We'll smash that over against the wall and do a new 5-inch media cabinet between the return and the furnace. Drain lines run in PVC. They go right over to a floor drain right there. Gas lines are black iron. There's a union and a shutoff valve, so that's all up to code. Refrigerant lines will get flushed and pressure tested. They come out of the top of the unit and run out to the outdoor unit um, above a hard ceiling. And then we have a five inch Y. We're gonna change that out to a five by four by three swivel T and we'll rebuild everything back down into each individual appliance. And electrical is right here on the side. There's a switch and that runs in BX wiring up above the ductwork, so we're good there. That's it downstairs. All right, guys, here's our outdoor units. The one on the left is for the second floor. The one on the right is for the first floor. We'll pull both, pull both units out, set our new units back down on top of new preformed pads, new disconnect boxes, new electrical lifts, flush and pressure test all the refrigerant lines to make sure everything's nice and level.